A lot of people ask me about how to stretch the wrists. There's lots of different ways, but I'm going to share with you uh, with the way I do it. Okay, so we're going to stretch these muscles here, the forearm muscles. Kneel down, point your fingers towards you, and really stretch through those wrists. Now when you're in this position, you get into all fours, and you can just move your hips left and right. And you can see that creates a rotation through here, and that gets some of the really deep structures in my forearm in between those two bones. Once I've done this position, I like to move my hands out to the side. Now I can move my elbow pits inwards and go left and right, or I can move my elbow pits forwards and go left and right. And with this, you can hold that stretch for a little bit, five, 10 seconds, or you can move in and out of it, whatever feels good for your wrists. And lastly, I like to put my wrists forward and move forwards and backwards, driving the elbow pit, elbow pit anteriorly. Now once you've done the back of the wrists, so the front of the wrists, you want to do the, the back of the hands as well. So same kind of thing, you just put them into three positions here, moving left and right. Some people find this a little bit more tender, that's okay. Point them towards your knees, forwards and backwards. And if you can, point them in front and see what happens. Now something that's fun to try in this position is actually to bring the hands inwards. Try and curl your little fingers in, then the middle fingers, and then try and get that thumb in there, all the while trying to keep your elbows locked out and straight. Once you feel these muscles are loosening up a little bit, the actual palm of the hand, the palm of the hand can be stretched out by going up and down. Now you can see there's a difference. I can almost get 90 degrees on this hand, but because I'm an osteopath and I use my right hand so much, I guess I've got tight through these knuckles here. They're going up and down through the actual knuckle. And with this ball, what I like to do is sometimes focus a little more on one finger as I do this joint, as I do these stretches. Move to the next finger, and so on. And that just helps relieve kind of individual tightnesses through your hand. Okay, so give that a go. Work through the front of the hands, the backs of the hands, individual fingers, and the joints. And in no time, you'll find that your forearm, wrists, hands, Loosen up and if you've got pain in there, that should help it disappear as well.